Hey there, nice cool breeze I'm over at Blueberry Park. Sitting on a little picnic table around here that's in the shade. It's really nice. Probably hear a bunch of the wind on camera, sorry about that. Nothing I can really do about it. How bad is that gonna be? Well, not too bad. Um It's kind of interesting. You know, since I well, the day before I made that video talking about how I'm going to be cutting back on a lot of the fatty foods and such and not focusing on uh, not focusing on gaining anymore I've gained like three pounds it's just like really and you know, I've been I've been getting out and exercising more and have significantly cut back on the fatty foods but still end up gaining weight, okay, whatever. I... If I end up getting a lot fatter, then, oh well. <laughs> I'm not going to focus on losing weight. Because I'm sorry, that was just a miserable existence. So whatever I end up equalizing out to, fine. You know? Uh... But, anyway, I'm in this section of Blueberry Park versus the place I usually go, because the place I usually go, I just heard tons of very young people, and I must admit, there's, there's a part of me that is scared a little bit to hang out with youth. I'm just scared of it. I shouldn't be, but I am, you know. Especially when I know that they're smoking tons of weed. I don't want to go there and be some party pooper I'm certainly not, I'm never going to be claiming, oh, you shouldn't do that or anything like that. I've got nothing against those that do it. It's just not for me anymore. It, it, unless I do it every day, several times a day, it makes me paranoid. If I just do one hit or a couple hits or whatever, I'm paranoid. It, it, it'll send me into a panic attack. It's just like, well, that's not worth it. And I don't want to get back into a massive habit of it, so, you know. But there's this thing about, you know, wh whatever drug it is, whatever people group together who do certain a certain drug of some kind, alcohol, weed, wh whatever it is, there's a mindset behind each one of those drugs. And whenever I try to hang out with people that are doing a particular drug and I'm not doing it, I feel like a third wheel. I sometimes even feel that way when I go to a bar and I'm not drinking, you know? I've been getting over that a little bit more, but... I guess there's a certain amount of peer pressure involved. Nothing actually ever directly said. But is that really peer pressure? I mean, it's not like people are telling me, oh, I need to do this. But it's the element of doing something so I feel I'm in a similar mindset that they are. So socializing is easier, you know? Yeah, I think that's the hardest thing about when someone tries to quit any sort of drug. It's not the quitting that drug itself that's hard, it's it's that feeling you get when you hang out with people who are doing it. And it's not a thing of oh I miss this so much, it's a thing of how do I fit in now? 
you know, into the mindset of socialization. You know, Google Plus Hangouts are a very different place as far as that goes. You know, there's people doing all sorts of things on, on the on in the Hangouts, and everyone just expects that someone that everyone they're talking to could have a completely different mindset. But that's not usually the case in person in real life. It's just not. It should be. And maybe some of this is projection on my part or something. Maybe I'm just assuming that I'd be a third wheel. That's probably it. See, some other things I'm thinking about is... Uh, Sometimes it's a little bit frustrating having my brother at the house. He's one of the primary people that originally had gotten me into this mindset that I am scent-wise allergic to so many things. He's so extreme on this stuff anymore, it's just like, if it's any smell at all, other than his cigarettes and weed, he acts like he's allergic. He, he'll he sit there and say he can't breathe because he smells cooking. We're not using any weird ingredients. We're not using any exotic ingredients. I shouldn't say weird, but you know, exotic to you know him. It's usually just onion, garlic, uh, pepper, um, red bell peppers, Sometimes some poblanos. Uh, nothing really that special. Every so often I'll use a little bit of uh, chipotle. And it's like, I can't breathe. It's like, if I smell just a little bit of cooking smell, I can't sleep. Okay, all right. Tea tree shampoo. Then the only smells in it is tea tree and peppermint. I can't breathe. We have to have the bathroom fan going 24-7. And he closes the... The house is kind of weird. There's a... There's this... There's a room that we call the music room, but it's not really music. It's more of an office, so to speak. That's before you get to two other bedrooms. And that room used to be... Uh, before... My mother moved in there in 77, it was, that was the biggest room, and then she had these additions put on. So that room has this door on it, okay? He closes that door, so none of the other smells possibly in the house could, could get to his, even though he has his door closed too. It's just like... He doesn't realize that so many of the, his allergies are actually psychosomatic. And he'd be offended if I came up to him and just said, dude, this shit is psychosomatic. I'll still never forget, I don't know, eight years ago or so, uh, there were uh, two women that he had dated at different times. They both, they, they all knew each other. And uh, when he dated Cynthia, uh, he was like, oh, you got to use something else than that shampoo. I can't breathe around it. It's just horrible. It's so strong. It's do 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 whatever it is, right? And then yeah, it didn't really work out that well between them. Just personality clashes and stuff. And so then he's dating the other the other woman. And uh, oh, she has she has more of the shape that he likes, the the big butt hourglass da 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 sort of uh I don't know, for some reason she reminds me of the, uh, the secretary on Powerpuff Girls, the, uh, uh, the mayor's secretary. And uh, Cynthia had given, after he knew that, after she, he, after Cynthia knew that my brother was dating this other 
a woman, uh, she gave her the same shampoo that she had used. And, uh, <laughs> it even tested my brother on this. And, uh, oh, do, do I smell okay? Oh, yeah, your hair smells great. She's like, um, this is the same shampoo Cynthia was using. Well, well, it, it smells good when it's on you. And she's like, no, bye, catch you later. <laughs> and it still didn't occur to him at that point that there could be something, it could be something in his mind. Um, he's never had any problems with uh, grass allergies or anything like that, but uh, we can't... I keep, I keep trying to figure out when can I mow the front lawn. Because he has the fans going all the time to, to get the, the air there. When can I mow the front lawn? And he won't go to the doctor to get any sort of allergy test, so he knows. Of course, most of the al things that he supposedly has allergies to are not something that you're going to find in that test. But, you know, at least there could be something showing that uh, he doesn't actually have allergies to grass. He never has in the past. It's just the way it is now, anything, any smell that isn't cigarettes or weed, he's allergic to. I mean, he'd, he'd use Dawn dish soap for, what, 20 years? And now, oh no, I can't handle the smell of that anymore. So it has to be Western Family Lemon. Okay. He gets headaches a lot, he gets sick a lot. Some of it is he doesn't pay... He doesn't pay attention to the nutritional content of what he eats. One of the things is that he will often not eat literally for two or three days and then he'll pig out on that next day and then, you know, those days that he didn't eat, oh, well, I can't eat because I'm stressed. Stressed over what? What, what, what's causing the stress? Oh, you, you, you and he, he can never explain. I feel sorry for him in that regard, but, I mean, his nutrition is terrible. Just fucking horrible. Worst eating habits is I've, I've run across. I mean... I may have done the fatty foods and such, and was into the weight gain thing for a while, but I was at least trying to be pretty damn balanced. And I've always stayed away from corn syrup and a lot of sugary stuff. I've always stayed away from that. I've never been into candy or any of that. How many pounds of sugar does he go through a month? I don't even know. I mean, I know he goes through one of those four or five pound things every few weeks or something like that. He just goes through it. He drinks so much coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. Which, I mean, nothing against those that make do coffee, but I just sort of wonder if with that much caffeine and that much sugar... You know? I've gotten the right to speak, though, on that. Because of, you know, my being heavy and all that stuff. But I don't sit there and make up conspiracy theories on what causes my issues. I mean, I used to. When I would get headaches a lot, I used to blame it on, I used to try to blame it on, on anything that was scented possibly around. I, I was sort of caught in some of his same, his same mindset. It's one thing that I have to thank 
the three bears, three meth addicts, four, at the place I was living for eight months last year. Got, I gotta give them credit for that. You know? They tested me a bunch of times and were like, dude, um, you're not allergic to that. You know, as terrible as that situation was last year, um, I don't regret any of it. Any of it. I learned so much about myself, about other people. Learning through adversity. But I'm glad I'm not in that situation anymore. Uh... My brother's really trying to be a good guy, though, you know? He's really trying to be helpful where he can. He tries to be thoughtful. He tries to think about other people. And that's a lot more than he used to be. So... There may be some negative things about him being there and us constantly having to worry about if there's some scent or something like that, even cooking. But... I'm glad he's around. So... As much as I may complain about this or that... Uh... I'm glad he's around. My mother keeps having this tendency to overwork herself. She does need to get some exercise. But she just overdoes it sometimes. And then she's miserable for days, sometimes a week. She can honestly do only about half the amount of things that she could last year. I'm glad I'm there to help out where I can. Um, not really sure where I'm going now. I guess I'm just rambling. This is just me... Just talking about a bunch of random shit, so... 